Hello everybody. In my last video I showed you the installation of the Pimax Crystal on my um, home PC with the RTX 4090 and it went really smoothly. Today I went to the office and I tried it on several PCs. So let's have a look. This is my old PC. Uh, it's kind of new PC, but it's my old PC for work. So there is a RTX 3090. Uh, it's an HP Omen PC and now I'm starting the Pimax software. Uh, not for the first time, but uh, it's a kind of long time ago since I used the Pimax on this PC. So there is the um, old software. And you can see I'm logging in as a guest. And now there is the short tutorial. And right now um, Pimax client is uh, going to update. It's now called Pimax Play. And after a short period of time the whole installation process went smoothly. So no hiccups or whatsoever. So launch the software again, then again log in as a guest. So I have a Pimax account, but um, I want to try it as a guest. So as you can see, it is running. As you can see, first I got the disconnected message with the Diagnose 10500, but um, after some couple of seconds, the error message or the disconnect diagnose number changed to changed to 10600, then 10635 and 10.935 and first I thought okay it didn't work but then as you can see everything went fine so I didn't restart the PC at all so it worked um, directly after the installation so maybe it would have worked better if I have restarted the whole PC but like yesterday, it went very smoothly without any hiccups whatsoever. The next PC is the RTX 30 mobile notebook from my employee. I had to use um, a display port adapter from normal display board to mini display board. And you can see also RTX 3080 laptop GPU. Then I freshly installed the Pimax software, uh, didn't restart, connected the crystal, started the software, logging in as a guest again. And because I got the same message the, uh, with the RTX 3090, I waited a couple of seconds and I thought, okay, maybe this is normal behavior. But in this case, um, I got the different diagnose messages and after, I don't know, like 30 seconds, I realized, okay, maybe the crystal isn't working with the notebook, maybe the display board adapter or something is wrong. And so I did just a whole restart. I let the crystal con uh, uh, I left the crystal connected to my PC. And after a whole restart, logging in as a guest again. And the same diagnose messages, but after a couple of seconds, the crystal was 
ready to go and also with with uh, the the crystal the Pinex experience Pinex home so I could instantly use the the uh, crystal so um, maybe those diagnose messages and numbers are a little misleading because if you are not a Pimax user um, you immediately think something is wrong so Pico um, has this fine thing they um, writing something like stay calm uh, it's normal that the screen is black for a period of time so maybe Pimax should also work on something like that that um, uh, because I think it's misleading if there are um, several error messages appear with every start. So in the end it works fine, but um, yeah, this could be go a little bit smoothly. And last, uh, PC is the RTX 3080 HP Omen from a colleague of mine. You can see him right now trying out the crystal and he did the, the update and we went directly um, the Pimax menu and the, the crystal was uh, ready to go before the tutorial started so this time no error messages uh, whatsoever I don't know why there is sometimes this error messages and sometimes not um, there we're checking if the HP Omen software is set to maximum or to set to extreme because um, we were trying out Half-Life Elix with uh, the 3080 and it runs kind of smooth uh, no comparison to the 4090 which in my opinion you have to use a 4090 if you buy a crystal or even an 8kx uh, so it's definitely um, it's going to work with the 3080 but the best experience you are going to get with the 4090 and after the whole um, Pimax crystal setup testing I've tested the mesh loader software which a colleague of mine had developed and it's working instantly with the crystal so very nice to see if you want more information uh, there's a link in the description and one of the discord users asked me if the uh, crystal cable is the same as the fiber optics cable from the 8kx and Yes, it seems so. Like in this picture, you can see the XP324 minus 6M. It's the same number on both cables. So I guess, yeah. Um, I think the new cable, which was uh, delivered with the crystal, is thinner. But yeah, I didn't measure it. So. Uh, both cables are very fine and very thin, so better than everything I had tried out before. And the last thing, uh, yes, it is possible to um, get rid of the face cover or, or the, the face plate. So in the, I hope, near future, there will be the lighthouse module and then the crystal will be my uh, everyday HMD so controller tracking is working fine but you know there is no comparison to lighthouse tracking so a short summary I now got the crystal for two days I installed it on four different PCs uh, all of them had Windows 11 installed, um, two of them the Pro version, two of them the Home version and even one of them uh, the preview version of Windows. So everything in the end it, everything worked out great. So there was no uh, trial and error or disconnecting or connecting the Pimax. So I think those rumors, uh, they're gone and there is also a user from the German Discord forum 
uh, in the Amber TV Discord forum, Alex, uh, he got the crystal before me and he had some problems with his 4090 and the Pimax support could uh, get rid of the problem uh, and reinstalling of a USB driver did the trick. So also Alex now has no problem with his crystal as far as I know. So the crystal is working and yeah, uh, feel free to contact me. I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said in the last video, um, I'm not a pro in generating video content. So this is my second hardware review, whatever video. So I hope you like it. Thank you. Bye.